lovely people it's really been a minute since i've had a sit down video with you guys you know, life just be life in so first of all let's address this wildfire issue that's going on across canada right now what is going on it's kind of scary yeah short clear and ready now okay yeah this wildfire has been insane um the last time I, I've checked, Ontario, some parts, I think, and Halifax was on fire and it's kind of insane. It's kind of scary. The PEI government, they actually banned the people from um, having fire outdoors right now, like open flames outside, just as a precaution because we lost so many trees during the hurricane. There's no way we can handle a wildfire right now and most of the trees are still freaking dry. We had some rain but so that was good i think halifax also got some rain so that was good that helped out a little bit this question has been my most asked question like all the time it's how to find a house how to find a house here and this video won't just apply to pia it will apply to all across canada because i feel like the tips and tricks that i'm gonna say can apply to also other parts of canada full disclaimer I'm not a professional speaking from my experience so you can use my experience and make your decision and you can tweak it how you want and how it work for you again this is my experience these are my opinions don't treat them as um how it should be done okay all right i just don't want nobody to come at me okay just just so you know so with housing and housing issues and how to find housing being the number one question that i get on a day-to-day -day basis i also get this question if i can help people find housing short answer no i cannot help you find housing i don't know anyone that's renting i don't have any links to give to you i don't have any connections in the housing market i don't i can only give you the tips and tricks that i used when i was finding the house i can't get it for you to put it bluntly when you move into canada pack your house in your suitcase yeah no seriously there's none here there's none here the reason why i say that is canada is going through a housing crisis not just pi every province the whole country housing issues everywhere so finding a house is very challenging because the population of the uh, the entire country is growing but the 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 infrastructure like rentals rental houses stuff like that it's not really growing with the population so that's where that issue comes in there's a lot of people coming but there's not a lot of housing the second thing is searching for housing it takes a long time so if you're coming here in September, you can't start looking for houses in August, ma'am. Mm -mm. And like I said, the housing crisis is all over Canada. So this does not only apply to PEI, but the thing with PEI is PEI is a small, one of the smallest province. Is the smallest province. PEI is the smallest, <clears throat> the smallest province in Canada. So that means her housing crisis is like intensified because it's so many students are coming here now because it's one of the cheapest universities here and just not enough like even the bus isn't um sustainable they had to add on new routes new buses stuff like that it's just crazy right now crazy so searching for housing takes a long time so if you come in september you should be looking for housing since you should be looking for houses you should have been looking for houses by now i'll talk about my experience uh, when I was looking to move last May, May 2022, I started searching from like January or like December -ish. and it, I didn't find anything. I didn't connect with anything until like a couple of days before I was supposed to move. So sometimes it, you get it so last minute, it's crazy. And the other thing is with you being outside of the country, it's like so much harder because people want to just just go yeah so when you're outside of canada this it's intensified the struggle is real because people want to rent it if people are looking for somebody to take over their lease they want somebody to take over their lease now they want somebody that's in the country that they can get the deposit from sign over the lease and all of that so it's, it's harder when you're outside and i'm aware of that so if you know somebody here not me sorry i'm sorry i can't do it 
but if you know somebody here and they're willing to go view the house in for you and stuff like that that would be great and then like you send the money and pay them let's get into how to find a house in or how i found a house in and if you didn't watch my part one video i'm gonna try to link it somewhere you're probably on the screen right now or it's gonna be in the description box but i did make a part one like when i just moved here so this is my updated version since i've moved again uh places to search the main place i know a lot of um people in my generation don't really use facebook anymore like younger people because instagram is considered the app you know to be on but facebook is like the old people app and i get it i get it i get it but you need to be on facebook when you move you need to be on facebook to join the international student groups you need to be on facebook to find a house okay facebook marketplace will be your best friend that's where i found where i'm currently staying and that's where most people find their housing somewhere on facebook so we're gonna start with facebook when you move here facebook is gonna be your favorite app mm -hmm. it's gonna be your favorite app so get on to it now you're outside of the country so facebook marketplace is gonna show from wherever you're at it's gonna show your home country so what you're gonna do is there's an option to adjust your location and change it to somewhere so change that so go on your facebook go on marketplace and then you change your location from wherever you're at to wherever you're gonna go so in my case i'll change my location to charlottetown prince edward island not only do you have to be on facebook marketplace you have to be on there every minute of the day i mean every couple minutes every five minutes every, every time you get a little free time you browse facebook marketplace because guess what once those housing at least here in pei i'm assuming it's all over canada because there's a housing crisis all over canada but once somebody lists a house in 10 minutes people are already messaging people they already got a ton of messages you got you have to be on facebook marketplace every second of the day every time you have some free time you got to be browsing 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 refresh browse refresh browse refresh bro rinse repeat you got to be on there you got to get on your zoom girl um the place that i currently live at Within 10 minutes of it being posted, I was messaging the girl because it was somebody moving out and I, they were looking for somebody to take over the lease. It was 10 minutes with the ad being posted and me being in contact with her and me setting up a time to meet and view the house within 10 minutes. No exaggeration there. You have to be fast. And when I was messaging with her and I'm trying to set up a Zoom, I was like, not a Zoom, set up a viewing. I was like, oh my gosh, I really want the house, but I, I, when can you, view, when can you, when can you set up a time to view? And I, I was like, okay, I just want to secure it um, as soon as possible. And she's like, yeah, I have more people texting, but if you want it, it's yours. Just let me know that you want it. I was like, yes, I want it. I'll come view it soon. I'll come view it that same day actually because I was I was not working the day so I was like so that same day I found the house I messaged the girl I set up a time to view I viewed the house well the room still I viewed the entire thing viewed the house I paid the deposit the damage deposit and I signed a form because I had to sign a rental agreement form, roommate rental agreement form, something like that. So that all happened that day. You have to be fast. So when I say you be on there every minute, I mean be on there every minute, okay? I also, sometimes viewing it is not even possible. Viewing, I always recommend viewing it because you want to make sure whatever they put online is what you're going to get, right? But where I was, I knew exactly the place that it was. I have a friend that actually moved into that same complex and she couldn't she found the house just like i did on facebook marketplace a room and she couldn't get to view it she ended up calling setting up and calling the girl on video call and the girl would show her the room on the video call and then she e-transferred the girl the deposit she never saw it in person but she saw it on video call and do and um e-transfer and electronic consent i'm not saying do that not saying you should do that because 
that's different when you're outside of the country versus when you're inside so don't do that be mindful of scams because just be mindful of scams I, that, there's nothing else to say right there because you have to you have to use your common sense people are gonna always post oh i have this room available blah 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 send um you have to send a part of the deposit to secure it i'm outside of the province right now so i will mail the keys to you that's a very common one it's a scam don't let nobody mail the keys to you if the plan right is not going to be available mm -mm. Mm -mm. I always be wary of sending money before you get here sending money before you get here is always like eh, I don't know you know I don't know but my first time when I moved here I didn't have to send her money I did sign the lease before I got here but I didn't have to pay her until I got here because she was like um, you have to sign the lease to secure the house make sure you're gonna come here but when you get here you'll pay me you pay me when you get here so I won't ask you to send the money. So that was a relief because I was like, okay, less than the chance of getting scammed. And I found a place, right? Good. Yeah. And it was actually like a, a studio. It's like a, a little studio apartment. So that was that was really nice. The marketplace is not the only tool that Facebook has to help you find housing. And it's not the only tool that you need to use. So on Facebook, remember I told you Facebook going to be your best friend right now. It's going to be your best app. Okay. Also on Facebook, search, go in your search bar and search for wherever you ear where whatever area you're in, housing or apartments or rentals. So for PEI, you have PEI apartment rentals, you have PEI housing, PEI this, PEI that. You have a lot of housing Facebook groups. Request to join those. Some of them will be like ask you questions just Write the questions. Some of them will be like, why are you want to join the group? Because they're trying not to have a lot of scammers in the group. So just be like, mm -hmm. I'm trying to move. I'm moving here, blah, blah, blah. And I need to find a place. You know, yeah. Also, on Facebook, you can create an ad. I did that. Created an ad. But it was a wanted ad. That's the reason why I got into that all people accusing me of being a scammer thing so maybe it's not recommended but i did get people reaching out be like hey i have this room or oh, i'm moving out this time do you want to do me i didn't go with any of those just because they were not exactly what i was looking for but the options were there like i did um have a few people students that are looking for roommates or looking for somebody to take over their room i had all those people looking for me are reaching out to me uh, the second site that I would recommend is Kijiji Kijiji is a buy and sell site throughout Canada so it's not just PI it's like entire Canada so when you google and just type in Kijiji and your province and it will narrow it down for you post an ad on Kijiji also I also did that and I people reached out to me on Kijiji so where I posted ads on Kijiji and I posted ads on Facebook marketplace also in the PEI groups I posted wanted oh I'm looking for a room blah 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 and I got people that are really like hey I have this room blah 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 I just didn't go with those but the option you you got options and viewer scammers when you do this because I don't want to hear that Janique tell you to do this and you got scammed beware scammers use your due diligence use your capital sense besides these two apps these two not really app sites um you want you can download the app some you have facebook download facebook on your phone download kijiji on your phone and you can keep track of everything better another thing is to look at the apartment management companies that are in your province so for example in pei there is kilam there is bevan enterprises there is red sands management properties i think there is KY Home Solutions. So look up who do rentals in your area. Beware, you know. Make sure you look in right. You look in. You looking at legit businesses. Don't just go and just go to any random site. Y'all, please be smart. Don't let nobody scam you. These sites, some of them, are, at least in PEI, they rarely have vacancies, and when they do, they fill up so fast. So they have a long wait list. So if they, if you call them or you email them and they say they don't have any, they don't have any um 
vacancies right now ask to be added to the wait list maybe sometime they'll contact you uh yeah that's that's a, that's a, another option another way to have a local number is to use text now i use text now um when i was just moving here because i needed a local number for documentations and stuff like that something that canada government could call me when i was quarantining so i just use text now and i actually still have that number i don't use it but i still have it um it's completely free you don't gotta pay for it and you get a local number so just look up a local area code number for your area and get a number here like for pei i just got a 902 number because that's the area code for pei and halifax I don't know if it's the same for the entire Atlantic, to be honest, but I know PEI and Nova Scotia 902 is the most common area code. I think that's it for this video, guys. Um, use the tips and tricks that I said. Uh, this was kind of a impromptu video because a girl is going through it, okay? But I'm trying to keep the content pushing out for you guys. If you have more questions, drop them down in the comment section or you can DM me on Instagram. Please, guys when you dm me on instagram i'm gonna get to it you know but sometimes the message is hidden and sometimes it'll just be off of instagram for days at a time and then i'll pop back up and check messages and then i'll be off for a couple of days don't forget to subscribe watch and share the video guys y'all are, are watching my videos i be pumping out content every saturday i don't understand why what the 1000 subscribers and 100 views that's crazy to me but anyways i love y'all still bye